For more than a quarter century, Compatible Technology International, or as we refer to it, CTI, has had one overriding goal, sharing resources and knowledge to fight hunger and poverty. Specifically, we help to improve the conditions of the poor and marginalized in the developing world through practical post-harvest food technologies. If people in poverty can earn money, can attain disposable income, they are then on the way to opening up greater opportunities for themselves, their children, and their communities. CTI was founded in 1980 by a group of General Mills food scientists and research engineers. The team sought ways in which their knowledge, expertise, and human kindness might help the poor in developing countries to resolve food problems and increase food supply by using local resources. The team soon expanded to include additional volunteers, and they decided that the major emphasis should address the post-harvest side of the food chain, which is still the mission of CTI. Serious attention had and continues to cover seeds, fertilizers, and irrigation for cultivating crops, but little thought had been given to the farmer's post-harvest need to store, transport, and process the actual crops following harvest. Our goal, which is carried out almost exclusively by volunteers, is to select appropriate technologies that are safe, affordable, respect the environment, require little or no fuel and electricity, and are compatible with the culture of the users. Most of our technologies are sized for small villages, extended families, co-ops, or very small commercial users. The first program stop for CTI was in the Indian state of Uttar Pradesh, where a village-based potato dehydration program was introduced. Potatoes are typically harvested in March, and since a large percentage of the potatoes rot before they can be sold, it was important to find a way to extend their shelf life. CTI, along with a partner in India, developed a peeler and slicer and a method to dry the potatoes. This allowed the potatoes to be sold over several months. Complementing this idea was the rustic store, which is a sturdy structure having a slat floor over a pool of water with a thatch or ventilated roof. Potatoes can be kept fresh in the moist air for as long as four months, adding significantly to significant value to received by the farmers. From India, which continues to be a major site for CTI operations, opportunities in Central America opened up, where over two decades of food programs have been carried out. In Guatemala, CTI volunteers worked with the Jalapa branch of Care International to find a way to reduce the staggering loss of half of the corn crop. A CTI volunteer invented a small sheller made from wood and studs. Then farmers were taught to make simple sheds, which keep the corn off the ground, away from rodents. And finally, metal silos, fabricated by local artisans, trained by CTI volunteers, provided reliable storage for the corn crop. These were financed through a women's microfinance lending program, a method of financing that we continue to explore and encourage today. CARE spun off its Jalapa branch, and it is now a thriving, independent, nonprofit organization, thanks in part to CTI. CTI's most visible and popular technology is probably our adjustable bird-type mill called a grinder, which will be on display at the reception following. We now have two models in production, both functionally similar, but optimized for manufacture in two locations. The Omega-6 is manufactured here in St. Paul and has a robust cast aluminum body. The Ewing-3, the one shown in the picture, is manufactured in Kampala, Uganda, and has a sheet metal body, which requires less sophisticated manufacturing steps. Both bottles are nearly identical, using the same burrs, bindings, and augers, and consequently have similar performance. The grinders are used to process groundnuts, most commonly peanuts, grains, corn, coffee, and breadfruit. They can be powered by hand, bicycle, or electric motor. The model manufactured in Uganda is the result of a joint venture with AT Uganda, an NGO based in Kampala, which was funded by a McKnight grant. The goal was to improve rural nutrition and promote income generation in 10 districts in Uganda. There are many other grinders sold in Africa, but the CTI grinder proved to be a better quality and greatly superior to other imported grinders. The price of the grinder, however, continues to be a deterrent for some, and CTI engineers continue to find ways to reduce the cost without sacrificing quality. In fact, a wooden version of the grinder has been under development for about a year. This would reduce shipping costs and may even allow local wood to be used to construct it. Grinders have also been used in Haiti to produce a food supplement called RUTF, which is fed to malnourished toddlers. For this project, CTI worked with a US pediatrician who volunteers her time at the Haiti mission. CTI provides the, the grinders, which are used to grind peanuts for the supplement, 
and the training needed to prepare it. The supplement um, can be mixed without clean water, does not require mixing with clean water, and it does not have to be stored in uh, refrigeration. Moringa is a tree that grows in many developing countries and is often referred to as the miracle tree. This is a picture of the, of the tree. Its leaves are highly nutritious. A few years ago, a longtime CTI volunteer began researching this plant and discovered that when the leaves are ground into a powder, they can be added to food, improving the nutritional value significantly. This began the research and development using our grinder to grind Moringa leaves. In February of this year, after just the right burrs and screens were determined, two CTI volunteers traveled to Ghana, where they were part of a lecture program on all aspects of Moringa. The Moringa Association of Ghana and Peace Corps volunteers aided in planning and conducting these venues, and they, were, they endorsed the quality of the product and the grinder. A Ghanaian man's, man present at one of the seminars in the U.S. in June was in the U.S. in June and met with CTI. He's very interested in obtaining 20 grinders to sell to villagers in Ghana to assist with Moringa powder production. In addition, in recent years, CTI volunteers, through another NGO they are associated with, have introduced the Omega grinder to a group of women who are using it to produce peanut butter, which they sell. Many of the world's people live on the produce of a hectare or less of land. Often, the difference between abject poverty and a sustainable life is how the meager produce of that scrap of land is processed, stored, and even marketed. By sharing our knowledge and resources, CTI is helping untold thousands of people maximize their production, leading to healthier, more productive lives. Thank you.